Maplewood's Valor, A Tale of Homefront Heroes In the bustling town of Maplewood, families gathered in the town square, anxiously awaiting news from the front lines. Martha knitted socks for soldiers, her heart heavy with worry for her brother fighting overseas. Jimmy collected scrap metal with his friends, dreaming of the day he'd become a hero like his dad. Ration lines stretched around the block as people patiently waited for their weekly allotment of food. Sarah tended victory gardens, her hands stained with earth as she grew vegetables for her community. The radio crackled with updates, bringing both hope and fear into the homes of ordinary Americans. Every day brought new challenges, but the people of Maplewood faced them with courage and determination. Rosie worked at the factory, her hands busy assembling planes to aid the war effort. Bobby saved his allowance to buy war bonds, proud to do his part in supporting the troops. Families hung stars in their windows, each one a silent tribute to those serving far from home. Despite the hardships, there was a sense of unity among the townsfolk, a shared determination to prevail. Sundays were for prayer and reflection, as churches overflowed with people seeking solace and strength. The schoolyard buzzed with excitement as children collected tin cans for recycling. Each can represented a small contribution to the greater good, a reminder of the power of collective action. As the seasons changed, so too did the landscape of Maplewood, shaped by the war raging across the ocean. Loved ones wrote letters, their words a lifeline connecting them across thousands of miles. In the quiet of the night, families huddled around the radio, listening for news of battles won and lost. The war touched every aspect of life, from the clothes they wore to the food on their tables. But amid the chaos, there were moments of joy and camaraderie, small victories that kept hope alive. As the years passed, the faces of those who had gone off to war became etched with lines of experience. Martha's brother returned home, his smile weary but triumphant, a hero in the eyes of his family. Jimmy's father marched proudly in the victory parade, his chest adorned with medals earned on the battlefield. Sarah's victory garden bloomed with life, a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity. The war had changed them all, shaping their lives in ways they could never have imagined. And as the final days of conflict drew near, Maplewood prepared to welcome its heroes home. The town square filled with banners and flags, a colourful tribute to those who had served with honour. Families reunited, tears of joy mingling with memories of those who had been lost along the way. But amid the celebrations, there was also a solemnity, a recognition of the sacrifices that had been made. As the sun set on the horizon, casting a golden glow over the town, the people of Maplewood gathered for one final act of remembrance. They lit candles in honour of the fallen, their flames flickering in the evening breeze. And as the stars twinkled overhead, casting their light down on the town below, there was a sense of peace. The war was over, but its impact would be felt for generations to come. In the years that followed, Maplewood flourished, its people forever changed by the trials they had endured. But amidst the progress and prosperity, they never forgot the lessons of the past. They remembered the sacrifices made by their loved ones, the courage displayed in the face of adversity. And they vowed to honour their memory by building a better future for themselves and their children. The town square became a place of pilgrimage, a reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Visitors from near and far came to pay their respects, to hear the stories of those who had lived through the darkest of times. And as the years turned into decades, 
the memories of war faded into history, but the spirit of Maplewood endured. For they knew that the bonds forged in the fires of conflict were stronger than any hardship they could ever face. And so, as the sun set on another day in Maplewood, the people gathered once more in the town square. They stood hand in hand, their hearts filled with gratitude for the peace and prosperity they enjoyed. But they also remembered those who had made it possible, the brave men and women who had fought and died for their freedom. And as they bowed their heads in silent tribute, they knew that their sacrifices would never be forgotten. For in the hearts of the people of Maplewood, the flame of remembrance would forever burn bright. And so, as the stars twinkled overhead, casting their light down on the town below, there was a sense of peace. The war was over, but its impact would be felt for generations to come. In the years that followed, Maplewood flourished, its people forever changed by the trials they had endured. But amidst the progress and prosperity, they never forgot the lessons of the past. They remembered the sacrifices made by their loved ones, the courage displayed in the face of adversity. And they vowed to honor their memory by building a better future for themselves and their children. The town square became a place of pilgrimage, a reminder of the strength and resilience of the human spirit. Visitors from near and far came to pay their respects, to hear the stories of those who had lived through the darkest of times. And as the years turned into decades, the memories of war faded into history, but the spirit of Maplewood endured. For they knew that the bonds forged in the fires of conflict were stronger than any hardship they could ever face. And so, as the sun set on another day in Maplewood, the people gathered once more in the town square. They stood hand in hand, their hearts filled with gratitude for the peace and prosperity they enjoyed. But they also remembered those who had made it possible, the brave men and women who had fought and died for their freedom. And as they bowed their heads in silent tribute, they knew that their sacrifices would never be forgotten.